5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. Back to back hits. Back to back hits. Hits. We are, we are the same, baby. Do not attempt to adjust your radio. We are in complete control. Strictly the hottest radio we show. Strictly the hottest radio show. Welcome to Strictly the Hottest Radio. I am your emperor. And this is Child of Zion. Yes, and each week, you know what we do. We search, we find for all the blessed and the best. This week, man, I got my main man, Mr. Dale in the building, baby. uh, Holy Hip Hop's gladiator. Okay, my man has been carrying this cross for 14 years. Former member of the evil Triple Six Mafia, (laughs) as evidenced by the name. Alone, if you don't know what they're all about, but the evil but Oscar winning, world embraced, financially stable. My man is going to be on the line talking to us about, you know, preaching the gospel, stability in the ministry, and holding on and staying strong. But with that being said, y'all, got to talk to y'all this week, man, wild week, man. Of course, y'all know about the riots going on over there. We're going to be talking about that. But hey, state of the union, man. Reverse revival in effect, man. That's right. We've got occultic child stars and adults occultic series creators and TV shows that have been pushing an antichrist agenda for years. And the reason why this comes up in conversation this particular week, especially after talking to Mr. Dell and everything, we've been out here doing our thing and some people have come against the whole Christian hip hop movement and everything like that. But we are a generation that has risen up after being indoctrinated for years by these people who have been seeking mediums, seeking psychics, we can give y'all a whole list of people and it's on their Wikipedia pages, y'all. This ain't on like, you know, no weird conspiracy theory website. There, you will look and read their bios. You'll see that they are people who go out and they consult mediums and psychics and see visions and then suddenly get inspired to write a television show and, and, and inspired to support causes that do not, um, you know, support Christian view of life. And of course, you know, us in this generation right here, we saw that because that's what we came up with and we recognized that we need to preach this gospel through the media, etc. But y'all, check this out. We have something what I would call a counterfeit revival going on, a reverse revival. Okay? I see pushback against our revival attempts. We see unholy alliances forming between gospel folks and new agers. They want to accept Jesus, but not the Christ, the Jesus of the Bible. They want to proclaim the Bible to be just a bunch of verses. But, you know, the spirit of Christ will take that and reclaim ourselves to be God. Child of Zion. Well, Emperor, you know, all I got to say is this, man. Isaiah 56, 10 talks about God's watchmen. He say, for his watchmen are blind. They are all without knowledge. They are all silent dogs who cannot bark. They are dreaming. They are laying down. They love to slumber or sleep. If you don't know what that means, back in the day when they used to have dogs, dogs were there to warn you of danger. Something is coming. The wolf is coming to take the sheep. This was for the watchmen, the shepherds, which is what we call our pastors. Now if the pastor is, is like a dumb dog that does not bark. Now this is from the Bible. He's useless. Do not talk about this sin. That is the reason why we are in church. We, are, we were called to be Christians because we realized we were in sin. And that's the whole reason for Jesus Christ. To cover and wash away our sins. Washing away of sins. Not cover and keep and restore a person who is in obvious sin. This is why homosexuality is in the church. It's no longer being called homosexuality. As you continue to sit there and say, well, Tadazan, you're out there. You need to ask about our brothers and sisters in the Middle East right now. Who are running off into the mountains because of their Christian faith. But a revival is happening. A revival is happening up in the mountains. As, they con- as ISIS continues to hurt and destroy the Christians out there, the media, the media is being used by God to tell people what Christianity is. And most of them are getting saved in their homes. That's what you will hear. But God is able. Amen. Tripped out, all in his presence, I spill out his word, man. I live out. That's the only thing that's real out here. Real out here? Kill out here. Sex money popping them pills out here. I don't care how folks feel out here. They gon' bow and kneel out here. Uh-huh. And confess he's Lord. Uh-huh. They will confess he reigns. Uh-huh. There'll be no more sickness. There'll be no more pain. Uh-huh. There'll, there'll be no more taxes. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, no more debt. Yes. Call it the good life. Your boy is so cool with that. Uh-huh. Act like you don't know who's the designer of your destiny. He ain't standing next to me. He's 
testing me, he's the recipe Y'all chasing money all over that bread like a sesame Guap turn to Gucci, so you say the Lord is blessing me What? Who told you that? These fools can't hold you back, that's what you say But I told you that These dudes lying on these tracks These dudes ain't selling no crack These dudes ain't racking up racks Tell me what you gonna do with that Gucci, Louis, Prada, get you nada Let me introduce you to my father You ain't gotta be rich, I had them dollars But when he call you shout that you better follow Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Prada, get you nada Let me introduce you to my father You ain't gotta be rich, I had them dollars I'm cut from a different cloth. I get so much respect. That don't mean I don't need money. Got a baby on deck. Plus a daughter in college. Man, I'm trying not to flex. But better yet, flexing. Lil Young and I'm just flexing. When it comes to material things, my mind be steady wrestling. Stressing. So now my mission is to hit the block with the rock. Nah, stop. Don't believe me. Just watch. Watch that all the mind. I'd rather let it burn. And rather floss in the watch. I watch for his return. I like them Jordans too. Wife on that Gucci bag. Please smell my new cologne. Car worship over swag. Yeah. So now I rock a straight and narrow fit it. Because his path is on my mind. I don't think you get it. Get it. That Gucci Louis make you fly. But remember, you can't take that Gucci with you when you die. to teach you how to work it in a level that Jesus said greater works will you do yes. and I believe that we go do some great works amen. amen and I believe that it's going to be done and it's going to be done through you and it ain't going to be done five years from now ten years yes. from now it's yes. going to be done in the nowness of your faith I don't know about you but I ain't letting up this season Yes. I got some stuff that I want God to do for me And I'm not going to let the enemy trick me And make me think because I asked God And he didn't answer That it's for me to let up No, God want me to keep pursuing yes. It's something about pursuit God loves God loves to be pursued Oh, y'all ain't saying that Wasn't it the woman of issue of blood That pursued him through a crowd of people pressed amongst him, only just to touch the hem of his garment and to get what she pursued. Feel like Satan's out to hurt me. Ah, so when she's like William Murphy, fly away from here to get this season. Why must I die just to get a reason? All my faith about to come to a head, but I need butter on this daily bread. Jesus, did you hear what I said? He called this living, but I'd rather be dead. But then I heard a word from heaven. My son, be patient. I'm a rewarder of the diligence. So keep on chasing. This ain't what you want. I got what you need. You go get this work. I'ma sow this seed. This ain't what you want. I got what you need. You go get this work. I'm gon' sow this seed. I'm laboring and you wondering when God gon' bring your heart. I'm watering and we working, man. God got in and we work. I'm laboring and you wondering when God gon' bring your heart. I'm watering and we working, man. God got in and we work. Wanna know where I came from? Kingdom citizen. I'm an alien with a green thumb. One. 
Just say what you want, want. I got what you need Come on. You go get this work, work. I'ma sow this seed Just say what you want, want. I got what you need Come on. You go get Come on. this work, work. I'm gon' sow this seed see. I'm laboring yeah. and you wondering when God yeah. gon' bring your heart yeah. I'm watering yeah. and we working man yeah. God's in me yeah. 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 heart I'm laboring and you wondering when God gon' bring your heart I'm watering and we working man God's in me I give you all the pleasures of this world That's what Satan says I don't want the shortcuts of this world I die for daily bread But it's not paper chasing or time with wasting God keeps me patient Feel like I got off work from a restaurant God won't keep me waiting So you know I'm about to go and prove it So my word cause you know I speak it fluent With God in my heart cause I'm influenced Too so I see like Nike and Madu OJ and it is Walking strictly out of radio on the artist baby I got the whole feeling in the building Mr. Dale Oh dear Oh yes indeed this is great man Now look man Love all your stuff Love all your stuff man I've been going gorilla all right, I've been going gorilla for a long time. Okay, you know what I mean. Matter of fact, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for me. All right, you know all my strictly hottest radio <laughs> listeners. I mean, you know I might turn around and we might just do Mr. Dell until the end of the show, three hours straight. But I'm I'm be cool. I'm be cool. All right. All good. All good. Let's take it. Let's do it. Let's make it HD radio, baby. <laughs> radio. But you know what I mean. You know, uh, you know this right here. This dude right here is 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 incredible, man. You know, I mean, I gotta tell you right now. You know what I mean. I like that uh, on your Hope Dealer record. One of my uh, favorite records was when you was on that one joint where you was like, you know, why you acting like you're too hard to praise, to praise God. God. Yeah, yeah. Man, we burnt that record into the ground. I'm going to tell you right now, we <laughs> played that record until the data is just gone from it. You know, we had to rebuy the MP3. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it's a pleasure for me to have you on here, man. Um, now, look, I know you got the Hope Dealer 2 and everything, but I got to find out what makes Mr. Dale tick. First off, how in the heck do you leave an Oscar winning group and come out here and preach this gospel? Walk these hey. dirt. <laughs> and, and, I mean, really, you're out here blazing trails where ain't nobody at. You know what I mean? Uh, before it was even cool to be a gospel rapper, you was out here doing it. So, right. so tell right. me about your right. journey into this game. Well, I, you know, I think God knows all, man. He knows. He knew that there would be a a resurgence in the holy hip hop community. Uh, you know, I believe it was God's plan, it was God's timing for, you know, the, the, the cats that's doing it now, like myself and Ken Jones and Uncle Reese and your Lecrae's and your Stachis and, I mean, just everybody out there uh, doing their thing and really holding up the center uh, for what, what we do. You know, I, I believe back then, you know, God, God declared the end from the beginning. So I, I, I think it was just a part of his plan that I be uh, a part of that elite group of extraordinary disciples that are going that are out here uh representing for god you know what i'm saying and for the kingdom and and you know with my own testimony man I, I just believe that i was chosen to do it i believe this was my purpose and i believe at the time that i was out there with three six man god just you know he called me out of that and he gave me a vision of what i am doing now then and uh when i saw that vision it's just something illuminated in me. It's just, and I and I obeyed, and I and I started this journey, you know, just living for God and, and, and running with this kingdom assignment that He gave me. And we here we are, fourteen years later, still running, still going strong. I mean, that is a powerful thing. The length of your testimony, how long you've been doing it, and everything. So there can be no denial about where you're at as far as the ministry is concerned. I see you bringing some other cats on board. I know we're talking about the Hope Dealer Project, but I mean, I got excited. When I found out that, uh, you know, I know about Merck uh, P31, but also uh, the Run DMG thing. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, that, that's the new movement uh, that God has given me uh, of uh, just like-minded men and women who love God, have an amazing testimony, and, I, and I'm just eager to get out here and infiltrate our hip-hop generation with Kingdom Culture. So the team includes myself, uh, Rod D. Newman, better known as the Ge Jesus Geek. Of course, a newcomer, Merck, uh, you know, Proverbs 31, P31, and, and also a woman by the name of D. McGee, a worshiper, urban worshiper, and uh, my homeboy, uh, my homeboy's young Memphis, e Rock and uh, Archangel. So, so we've combined forces and are out here, uh, even right now, on the Hope Dealer Tour, out here saving souls, man. This weekend, uh, we, we counted 11 souls saved. Uh, from our weekend tour, tour trip. So 
Uh, I'm, I'm flying out to Dallas tomorrow, and I'm eager to save some more souls. It's just a beautiful thing. Man, that's just powerful right there, man. Because I don't watch so many ministers fall off on the wayside, man. And to watch Mr. Dale come out with Hope Dealer Part 2, right? Okay. Yeah. And not only did you come out with Hope Dealer Part 2, you brought more people along with you. Because I'm going to tell you, before I even found out Hope Dealer 2 was coming, right? I was banging yeah. that D. McGee, right? I was like, yo, this is hot. Right. This is hot. Yeah. Before I even knew. And I said, wait, Mr. Dale doing it? I said, oh, man. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. This brother that came with it, man. So I'm like real happy to see you on the move. Now, the Hope Dealer 2 project, man, we are killing right now. We are burning the airwaves down uh, with that Harvest record. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Because you tell me sure. about what's the inspiration behind that, man? Because it really sounds like you have matured as like a, a straight minister. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm, that's, that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm glad you, you noticed that. You know, I believe that, you know, the thing about me and that people need to realize is, you know, all, if you've been a fan of Mr. Dale for any length of time, I, anywhere from, you know, uh, if, 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 if it was from the very beginning or either from 2005 when I first signed my major deal with EMI. Uh, you would know that I've been a work in progress. You, you've basically seen, you know, me grow in God. You know what I mean? You're looking at someone who basically documented his whole salvation on record. You know what I'm saying? So since my first record with me being saved into the light, you know, you can see that there was more, you know, basically, you know, newfound salvation, just getting saved. You know what I'm saying? And then me growing from, you know, the future to Hope Dilla, you know, to Thriller. You know, Tin Man, like all these albums has been uh, just me growing. And, and all along, you know, me growing in God and growing in my ministry. And uh, of course, for those who don't know, I am a pastor. I pastor a church in Memphis, Tennessee, City of Refuge. And uh, in my growth, man, you know, that God told me that this year will be a year of harvest. And uh, it will be a year of double harvest, seven times two uh, for 2014. And harvest for the believer and harvest for the kingdom. Uh, so, so, it, so the, you know, the song just basically represents the year and the season that we're in as a kingdom, uh, uh, a year of harvest. Child of Zion and Emperor.